Are you listening? Uh. Breakthrough yeah. Media. The truth always wins out in the end because it outlives falsehood. Yeah. See if you can spot a difference in media coverage. Here's Bernie Sanders a few years ago on CNN at Mount Rushmore. This is our country at its very best. What an incredible achievement. Visiting Mount Rushmore today, Bernie Sanders taking in the majesty of the moment, this monument to four great American presidents. Just the accomplishment and the beauty, it really does make one very proud to be an American. Sanders has his own mountain to climb. Here's how they covered President Trump going there to do a speech yesterday. Kicking off the Independence Day weekend, President Trump will be at uh, Mount Rushmore, where he'll be standing in front of a monument of two slave owners and on land wrestled away from Native Americans, told that uh, be focusing on the effort to, quote, tear down our country's history. All right, Leila Santiago. With that report, thank you so much. On one hand, you have this monument to four great American presidents. Where he'll be standing in front of a monument of two slave owners. Let's play that game again. Here was CNN before smearing hydroxychloroquine and making sure their entire audience was afraid of it and just thought it was the worst thing ever because President Trump talked about it, even though, of course, there were decades of research on it. And here's them recently finally admitting that a study showed that it does have some positive effects when it comes to COVID-19. I want I wonder how many lives they could have saved if they didn't spend all their energy always hating the president and always disagreeing with what he does, no matter what he does. Which now includes for some Democrats blocking the president from withdrawing troops from Afghanistan. This was always a liberal dream to bring the troops home and many libertarians wanted to see this too, but now, orange man bad, let's leave the troops there and make sure he can never bring troops home from the Middle East. Whatever makes you feel good at night. Clearly for some people that's constantly lying, dividing the country, and then accusing others of what they're doing. The Guardian, Trump heads to Mount Rushmore for divisive fireworks celebration. ABC News, perhaps the most dishonest headline of them all. President Trump pushes racial division flouts virus rules at foot of Mount Rushmore, pushes racial division. I watched the entire speech. It could not have possibly been less racially divisive. Any American of any race, religion, and gender who loves this country, who doesn't hate it, wants to tear down every statue of Mount Rushmore could have appreciated it, but the news is not that person. They're hateful, they're divisive, they're negative, they're nasty, they're wicked. They constantly lie, divide, and judge people solely by race instead of the content of their character. And then they accuse you of doing the opposite. It always reminds me of this Malcolm X clip where he explained what liberals did even back then. There are many whites who are trying to solve the problem, but you never see them going under the label of liberals. That, that white person that you see calling himself a liberal is the most dangerous thing in the entire Western Hemisphere. He's the most deceitful. He's like a fox, and a fox is, almost, is always more dangerous in the forest than the wolf. You can see the wolf coming. You know what he's up to, but the fox will fool you. He comes at you with his mouth shaped in such a way that even though you see his teeth, you think he's smiling and taking for a friend. Yeah, many whites. CNN analysis in jaw-dropping speech, Trump stoked fear of culture change while minimizing that they just never stop. Speaking of lies, this comes from BLM, Black Lives Matter Instagram account. On the 4th of July, they're posting this picture of Hitler next to Trump, which dawns in a 100% fake quote, it's not real, he never said it, not even close to real. But that's what these people do. They lie, 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 divide, 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 won't allow you to be united under the flag. They want to burn the flag. They want to destroy every monument. Even the New York Times recently chimed in, and they're pushing towards what is eventually going to happen, people trying to dismantle Mount Rushmore. I remember when they called Michelle Malkin crazy for suggesting that a few years ago that they weren't going to stop with the Confederate monuments and all the comments said, she's crazy, what a looney tune. And of course, three years later, exactly what she said is happening. But God bless you. God bless America. And I want to share this real quick. A country so damn great that even her haters won't leave. It's true. I was tired of Los Angeles. It's becoming disgusting. There's trash everywhere, tense homelessness. It's growing, growing, growing. Businesses have been shutting down because of horrible liberal policies. And then when they're trying to open, you have a bunch of self-righteous degenerate liars march through the streets, block traffic, thinking it's all about them further shutting down businesses. And now you just see 
Hundreds of businesses boarded up because they can't open. This is the city. The whole thing is going down the drain. It's a shell of what it once was. And none of them seem to care. They're just self-righteous activists who do the opposite of what they claim to do. They don't help anyone. They don't help themselves, their own community. They just destroy. But the point I'm trying to get to is I didn't like it, so I left. If America's so bad, how come people want to stay here? It's because it's one of the greatest countries on earth and it's one of the greatest countries in human civilization. Many people, not all, but many, their grandparents or their parents or their great grandparents came to this country to establish a better life from India, from Mexico, from El Salvador, from Africa, from Europe, from Asia. They came to this country because they knew it would be better and all these people want to do is tear down, destroy, destroy, destroy. They can't build. They have no solutions. Their ideology is Marxism slash communism, which is responsible for the deaths of tens of millions of people and it's not hard to see why when you give them their utopia they create a chop chaz situation which it's not just happening in seattle if you look at los angeles the entire city is starting to look like chop slash chaz they don't clean up they have no strength they hate the police they tear each other down they don't care about small businesses an average of three homeless people die every single day in la county alone and they're out marching for something that kills less people on a nationwide scale than la county itself kills a year because they can't figure out the homelessness situation they don't even try the whole city is just turning into a war zone train wreck and none of them care they just want to block traffic and then go to nicer areas call everybody racist and try to make you live in the hell that they've created for themselves but many of us are putting up with it boom Breakthrough Media. I also think that we actually do have an ideological frame. We uh, are train Marxists. This could be a police cruiser, Tom, that you mentioned that is burning right now. I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country. Maybe there will be. Weak politicians immobilized by the mob. Nancy and Chuck have unleashed forces they themselves are now powerless to stop. The mob will not stop until the country is dissolved. Planes rip through the lower level of St. John's Church. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's definitely a fire here. Make sure that police departments are defunded. We need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. The driver hit two officers. We have an incredible opportunity to fundamentally transform the country. The first statue that we came across was Ulysses Grant. It was toppled, it was lying in the pathway. Look what you did to my store. Look, these people are tearing up our livelihood. We are trained Marxists. If you don't support Black Lives Matter, I'll break your knee, gunny, gunny caps. And please, show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. And please. There's the, the First Amendment. You just gotta look it up, Mr. Como. Breakthrough Media. They like what you rap about, Christ for. I don't know what you rap about, Ice for. You see, homie, the Lord is my life, so that's like asking what I rap about, life for. It's like the game got a quota. How many times you can mention the Lord Jehovah? You hit that point, they put you on a whole other side of the stove where nobody sees your product. They put you on a whole other station and they all online and you might get on the AM. But come on, fam, who get on the radio and try to find music on an AM station, no. So the chances is you more likely to hear a song about drugs than the Lord on accident. It's like they trying to keep God from you. But no matter what the world say, God love you. Oh, Lord, what you do to them so You even gave your life so that we Understand. Maybe they just saw it if the power's in your hand And they would do anything for the power that you have But to let them down, y'all would be a coward of a man 
And it was all good just a week ago But now they taking that same Adam and Eve approach See they was cool being underneath God Till the devil came like F that you can be God And that's the tip they be on a day And why they took you out of school's kinda hard to say But when they feed the youth all this foolish evolution talk That they can't prove it's hard on their faith The other day a couple teachers at the school were persecuted For saying a prayer over the fool But the day that become a crime they do I'ma be a criminal, tell them do what they gotta do Oh Lord, what you do that I'm so wrong You even gave your life So that we I know what it is, Father. I finally figured out what it is about you. I figure they know that if you exist, it's a lot of sin they love doing. They gotta quit, Father. And the only ones calling it a fairy tale are the ones for which the story doesn't end as well. Maybe they like it better if it never mentioned hell. Like a thief if the law said he never went to jail. I was seeking the truth, found it, and I submit already. They just want the truth that agrees with how they feel already. So if they like a sin and they tired of fighting it, they just go and find another guy that don't mind it then we got so used to democracy we think we had a right to vote who we want god to be gotta be god with or without you honestly your father is still your father even if you decide to leave yeah oh Lord,